Welcome back, welcome back. Imagine that we are inching ever closer to the end of the Superion series. Um, and when you do a series, you know, you always have that one that you're going to forget. And I can't believe I forgot this guy. Uh, before we do the combined mode of Superion, we need to take a look at the uh, Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Voyager class leader of the Aerial Bots, the core of Superion himself. Let's take a look at Silverbolt. Welcome back to the channel. This is Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. GotBot, and I'm going to ask you to uh, check me out on social media, check out Machinery of Man, and please, Check out the Everything Factor, and we will go on with this guy. Uh, he's beautiful. He is beautiful. B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L. I hope I just spelled that right. Um, anyway, uh, this guy's great. Um, I, I absolutely love him. His paint apps, however, are going to get a 9. They're going to, actually, they're going to get an 8. Uh, here's why. We have the G2 set coming out. The G2 set is a lot of blue, largely where this guy's a cream color. Um, a lot of red, largely where this guy's red. Uh, and, you know, some other changes. It's the G2 era. It is what it is. Uh, still a fabulous figure and uh, the exact same mold as this guy. Uh, we have the Unite Warriors version. Uh, more tune accurate. The orange on the uh, biceps and the thighs of this guy uh, are, are more yellow on that one. Uh, you actually have the silver on the wings. You'll notice I have silver on the wings. That is custom paint that I added um, to give him his wings. They're molded in there, but they were painted black. Um, and I wanted them silver. It drove me nuts. I, I really thought about doing his kneecaps as well, but I opted against against that. And of course you can get repro labels uh, to help you out with all of that if you're so inclined. But as the core, uh, in torso mode he's fantastic. Uh, as a standalone figure he's fantastic. His alt mode is fantastic. This guy's fantastic. He was remolded into uh, Cyclonus who I looked at because I wanted to get the, you know, Galvatronus series out of the way, um, but this was the original mold. He was also used for <sighs> Silver Bowl, or not Silver Bowl, for Scattershot, for Betatron, uh, that, no, that's all I'm going to say. The original stands as the best use of this mold, no doubt. Um, so Paint Apps an 8 because I added the silver because the orange and the cream is a little bit off. It should have been white and yellow. Uh, still, are you going to mistake that it's Silver Bolt? I don't think so. If you know the character, I don't think you're going to mistake who it is at all. So he still gets pretty good paint apps, just not stellar paint apps. And I do like the cream, the off-white color. It, it looks nice. Uh, it's just not quite right. Uh, pose ability, play ability. Well, in play mode, he's a plane, and it is what it is. Uh, in torso mode, he is fantastic, and the joints are great. Uh, he's an excellent torso. He's the best torso of the Combiner Wars line. Funny, he came out first, and uh, he was the best. Head, you know, goes all the way around. It can look up. Uh, it can look down a little bit. Nice ratchets on the shoulder out. Arms ratchet all the way around. It's beautiful. Sound of that clicky ratchet. Uh, the biceps swivel. Uh, nice bend at the elbow. Again, you can do that with his wrist if you really want to. I don't know why he would, but uh, he doesn't have waist articulation because of transformation. I don't care. Um, the hips. Heavy ratchets again. Uh, beautiful, you know, ability to do the splits. Put the hips down. Uh, you know, Twist at the thigh that's nice and tight. Uh, nice deep knee bend, more than 90 degrees. And um, again, just like with Cyclonus, he has the heel spur and he has the toe tilt. Uh, so fantastic. I know he doesn't have a waist, but I still don't think you're going to have any trouble uh, getting whatever poses you wanted of this guy. And he stands really well. He stands strong. He's, uh, he's really great. So pose ability, play ability, 10. 10 in all modes. 
Transformation. So we have an eight for pain apps. We have a ten for post ability play ability. Let's see. Uh, let's see how this guy transforms. Because if you will remember, with the Cyclonus mold, I uh, I had to fiddle with the uh, arms and stuff a little bit. So first, we turn the knees toward each other. We open up these flaps on the back, and we fold up his feet and fold them in. We fold in the heel spur and we fold the foot in. No problem. Uh, next, you want to fold the legs up on themselves, and you might be able to see that there's a, a hole in here. Maybe you can't see it. There's a hole in here, and this tab right here is going to go into that hole. So we take this, and I guess I can put these forward. We take this, and we fold it up, and it just went in there nicely. And we take this, and we fold it up, and it just went in there nicely. Uh, beautiful. We can take the cockpit section. And I guess you can also open up the chest and fold the head all the way back in if you want, like that. And bring that forward, the cockpit section brought forward. And you can even tilt the nose a little bit, just as the Concorde did. And that's exactly what this is turning into. Um, the arms are next. If we go down bottom here. Turn the shoulder so that they are in this orientation and this orientation, and we turn so that the bottom of the forearms are now on the outside, and we bring the arms down uh, into the body there. Really what's happening is, and I guess I should have explained this with Cyclonus, is this wrist section here goes into a little slot down right here, like that. And then these tabs on the wings will go into slots on the uh, arms. Comes down, comes down, beautiful. And I guess you can straighten that up. And there you have them in jet mode. And it's, I mean, it looks beautiful. I know there's robot kibble underneath, but that's the way the animation was. It's, it's the way he was. And you can take his gun again, just like with Cyclonus. And there are, you know, there are, by the way, this thing combines as well. It comes apart to be a shield and a gun. I just leave it. Uh, there's two pegs underneath here, right there. And those two pegs go in these two holes right here. And if you didn't want to do that, you can also always take down the landing gear right here. And like that. It looks kind of silly, but hey, at least it's weapon storage. It's it's something. Um, I think the cream color works really well in plain mode, uh, just to have him stand out a little bit from the other aerial bots. Uh, I think it looks I think it looks great. Um, for torso mode, we can flip that to the side again. Flip the nose cone all the way back. Flip the wings all the way back. So you're kind of putting his whole uh, plane on his back. Take the arms out and spin them around and spin them around. And now we come over here. When we come over here, we again, I find it's easiest to hold on right here and start to pull out to nudge the head out. On this joint here, we bend it back we bend his horns up and again there's a a little slot right here that goes in or a little nub right here that goes into a slot up here and locks his head in place and that's a beautiful superior head sculpt beautiful i love it uh a lot of people have complained about these horns being soft rubber i do not know if they are soft rubber on the uh the g2 box set um i'm not even sure if they were fixed for the um, Unite Warrior set, they probably were. Uh, a lot of people have removed these and shaved off some of the paint here and some of the paint in right here. I, I don't feel a need. I've, you know, you could always heat them with a hair dryer and pull them forward. I, I'm okay. Mine aren't too bad. Mine aren't too bad. They do go back a little bit, but nothing major. You flip up his chest just like we did with Cyclonus. Uh, I think. 
Yeah, there you go. You flip up his chest just like we did, did with Cyclone. Is you take these two sections and bring it forward and bring it forward, and these will lock into each other, uh, really with these teeth right here. They lock in like so. You bring down a cover for a combiner port. You bring down a cover for a combiner port. You bring the arms the rest of the way down because they will become the thighs for Superion. You open the hands up and there's our torso mode. The um, the box set is much like this, except where you see white creamy color here, it's pretty much going to be a blue on the box set for the most part. Um, with the Unite Warriors version, this red continues down. There's more of the red on the center mass, and there, so there should be. But I still like the look of this. Uh, I still think it looks really good. It, it's not perfect, but it looks really good. Um, so we will lay him down. Um, just for a second, and, uh, you know, again, his gun will end up being held in the hand. If you didn't want to do that, you could take his gun if you don't want it in the hand, and you could still, uh, plug it in on his back. It kind of comes up over the top, but there you go. Uh, so he looks good in all modes. He looks good in plane. He looks good in torso. He looks good in robot. He's uh, he's a winner. Just as a deluxe fig or a Voyager figure, he's a winner. Uh, I love him. You should get yourself a silver bolt uh, and bring him home and love him as your very own. And now our next video will be the combined form of this guy, Superion. Uh, look forward to seeing you inside the videos. Thanks for watching.